or the time of being asked a few times to provide a simple conductive-based circuit for water level sensing. And in spite I'm not a big fan of these kind of circuits, uh, and I, I will explain why later on the, of this video, uh, today I present two conductive water level circuits. One provides an analog output that uh, can be attached to an analog input or directly to a meter, and the other one has discrete 0, 1 outputs that can be wired to the inputs of a PLC or an Arduino. But before getting started, let me tell you why I'm not a fan of conductive water sensors. Now this is how conductive water sensors work. Here we have a, a vessel, water, maybe fish, and, uh, and two or more electrodes. And, um, and here how it works. Uh, a current uh, would flow through the electrode and back to the other electrode going through the uh, medium, in this case water. But because water is not conductive, but ions are. Pure water is not conductive. Uh, to make it conductive are ions uh, that are dissolved into the water. Um, and this is typically caused because there are salts uh, dissolved into water. Even fresh water has salts uh, dissolved in it. And um, so the current uh, that flow through the medium is carried through ions that are um, actually atoms. Uh, so the atoms move from one electrode to the other and vice versa. Um, and this may, co may cause corrosion because maybe uh, oxygen binds uh, to the electrode or maybe um, some coating happens on the other electrode because uh, de depending on the on the salts or the ions uh, dissolved into the water, they build up on the other uh, electrode, and this would make the system stop working properly. And uh, to limit this problem, uh, we can uh, act uh, some countermeasures, uh, like uh, reducing the current uh, and limiting the voltage across the electrodes. Um, keep in mind, uh, the voltage at closed circuit, not uh, the voltage at open circuit, when the, the water touches the electrodes. And um, another problem that uh, could uh, arise uh, from this kind of uh, sensors is a leakage of current, uh, maybe across the vessel or across pipes uh, somewhere, and maybe back to another circuit. And this is why I'm not a fan of this kind of sensors. Um, but uh, of course, they are cheap, um, easy to make, uh, and simple. Oh, before we continue, uh, if you think the video is good, hit the like button, because this apparently helps uh, the algorithm understand that the video is good and, the, and therefore it is promoted. Otherwise, the video will fall down and virtually disappear. Uh, so, if you think it's good, hit the like button, that will help, and uh, maybe also subscribe and hit the bell icon as well. Thank you. So, this is the first circuit, and uh, here we have uh, the tank, uh, the tank. Um, uh, with water, uh, and water must have some dissolved ions in it, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and uh, here we have the electrodes. Uh, A is this electrode, that is the common electrode. Uh, and then uh, we have the number one that uh, goes all the way down uh, at the same level of the A electrode, the common electrode. And, uh, and then we have the number three, that is the topmost uh, electrode, uh, the highest level. And uh, in the middle we have the number two or more electrodes, electrodes at uh, several uh, intermediate levels, uh, if you want, uh, adding more stages uh, like this one in red. Here the mm, common electrode is uh, supplied uh, through this 10K resistor. Uh, that limits the current uh, at 600 microamps, and this is limit and this limits the the, the risk uh, of building up uh, scale or 
corrosion or even leakage uh, through the water or the tank or other uh, element, elements uh, connected through water, maybe pipes, uh, etc. Uh, on the other side, we have the electrodes that uh, goes through a resistor that limits uh, uh, the current even more uh, to this, the base of this uh, transistor that is a BC327, and uh, and this transistor limits the current uh, at a few. Uh, tens of microamps and, um, and this uh, capacitor is uh, here uh, to mm, limit the build-up of um, voltage in the case of induced voltage because those electrodes are in open air uh, so they may be subject to uh, voltage induction and uh, at 50 hertz uh, this uh, capacitor has uh, an impedance of uh, 4 kilo ohm more or less when the, this uh, all these transistors are off uh, and therefore the water is below the minimum level here um, here we have this ladder of resistors and uh, that makes uh, this point to reach 5 volt. So here we have 5 volt. This is a buffer um, through this operation amplifier, and then this uh, inverting up amp um, makes uh, this point to go to zero because here we have 2.5 volt, approximately 2.5 volt. Uh, so when this point goes to 5 volt, to have this point to 2.5 volt. We need to have zero here and uh, when this uh, transistor goes on and uh, this point goes approximately to zero uh, the LM358 uh, is uh, ideal for this uh, purpose because it, it has a rate it is a rate rail um, and is it works very well uh, at zero watt and um, and, it, and it can be uh, powered through 12 volts so again when this point goes close to zero here we have uh, again close to zero and to have 2.5 volt here as here the output must go to plus 5 volt if in fact here we have two resistors this same value of this resistor so 5 volt here 0 volt here 2.5 volt and, uh, and here is the output that can be connected directly to a meter or a voltmeter or maybe to uh, an analog input of a device, um, let's say an Arduino. When this is open, but this is closed or this is closed, we have intermediate v values here. When the level rises, uh, we have uh, a voltage that uh, goes uh, uh, down and down toward zero and here it is inverted and therefore goes from zero to toward five volt and this is the other circuit uh, that uh, provides uh, discrete outputs uh, that can be connected to uh, uh, the inputs of a plc uh, so like this uh, you have here a wire another wire another wire and then this goes to the in three inputs of a plc and again here you can have more intermediate stages um, adding more stages like like this one uh, enhanced in yellow here the circuit is a little bit different because it works on uh, uh, the reverse and in respect to the the previous one so here we have uh, again a resistor that goes to the common electrode A here the electrode A and uh, the resistor this time is connected to G and D to ground the negative and uh, why the positive and 24 volt positive the, which is the typical voltage uh, for PLCs but you can he have here a voltage can ranges from 6 volt to 24 volt and uh, here uh, we have uh, PNP transistors, so BC327, and uh, the transistors are connected. The base of the transistor, the bases of the transistors are 
uh, connected to through this resistor 150k resistor and uh, again the same capacitor that goes to positive uh, in this case because it is uh, mirrored in respect to the previous circuit uh, so what happens here when uh, this electrode uh, is in contact with the common for example uh, because the water touches these two electrodes uh, here a current will flow from the emitter of this transistor through its base and th across this resistor 150k uh, that uh, goes through the electrode and the water and back uh, through this resistor toward negative and this case in this case we have a um, higher uh, limit of current because we have higher resistors and uh, the common electrode being col connected to negative uh, less prone to have leakages because you know negative is usually connected to ground and uh, pipes uh, and so on is also, also connected to ground so this is this circuit is even better than the previous one and um, and the the render of the uh, how it works uh, is similar to the previous one but just mirrored uh, so let's try to make this circuit and see how it works oh. connect all the emitters together so Wire go down here. First input, the white to the second input, yellow to the third input. All right, let's try this. All right, I had to, to turn off the light because otherwise it would be hard to see the LEDs and uh, maybe you're seeing here the yellow light uh, that is flashing is blinking because uh, the device is not programmed yet but here look at the green lights as i touch with the fingers they turn on and then they slowly turn off because yeah, <laughs> there are the capacitors that uh, keep the transistor turned on for a while. And uh, here you can see, you can, I can, using the fingers because I'm just uh, injecting voltage. Uh, <laughs> Let's try with, uh, with actual water. When I have submerged the contacts to the water, it makes contacts, the electrodes into the water, the wires into the water, it makes uh, contacts and uh, turns on and off the lights, the LEDs that uh, glows when the, the input goes high. Okay, for today, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.